We're celebrating a very special anniversary here at WGBH, 20 years of Beat the Press. So here's a look back at the very beginning. Welcome to Beat the Press, a show where the press is the beat. We cover the news media the same way they cover everything else, which means we'll be beating them up from time to time. And that she has over the past two decades. Emily Rooney, that was her. And her panel have covered the media's failures, triumphs, everything in between. Tomorrow they'll look back on it all on a special live 20th anniversary episode. I cannot wait. Emily, congratulations. It's great to see you. That was a little clip from, by the way. Uh, a pilot, right? A pilot that I shot in New York City. I can't Before it even what started. Year. Like 94, 95, and I shopped it around to all these places. How did this even come to be? How did this thing start? So I, I, was, I wrote about this. I said, Chet Curtis and I used to sit around the Channel 5 newsroom yeah. grousing about the fact that some media critic, every, all the newspapers had media critics, they were always taking off on television. It was always about the personalities, their mm -hmm. salaries, whatever shows they were doing. And there was nothing ever broader. And we used to talk about that, and I said, I'm going to make that happen someday. But it wasn't just Chet who was involved. Some pretty high-profile names were touched upon Oh, no, but that was when travels. I was just talking about it Like who, Chet, for example? But, who was part of that? Well, well no, no. So, I mean, when I was first getting this idea, I went to uh, trademark it, and it turned out that Ariana Huffington mm -hmm. had the same idea. And she was racing to the tr trademark office to do the same thing. And we talked together. She invited me down to her place, and we talked. But she, was, she had an ideological bent on it, and she wanted to criticize the liberal press. That was back when she was a conservative. So, Bill Shine, who's now deputy White House head of communications, he was the, he, what was his deal? He was the director on a show that I, I was working with, the guy who actually helped me produce the oh. pilot. And Roger Ailes? <laughs> and Roger Ailes, I shopped that piece around to Roger Ailes, and he, was, he says he was very amused by it, and then he said, you got to write a book first. <laughs> you know, I, I was thinking about, uh, I don't know, precise dates. There was a decent amount of media criticism when you started. Uh, I'm pretty sure the uh, Phoenix... Uh, now gone. Adam Riley had it. Yeah. Well, and uh, and Jerkowitz, Jerkowitz, who was your regular yeah. guy, then Jerkowitz moved on to be the ombudsperson at the Boston Globe. Does it matter that twenty years later, there's virtually other than sports media criticism, you are it. There's one well, game in town. Does there's that reliable sources on CNN. Well, that's true. No, but I mean, I'm in here. Oh, there is none. No one does it anymore. And why All should anybody care about gone. that? Why should anybody care that there's only one game in town? Should they? I mean, yeah, because it's like every every beat that's covered. You, it gives you a perspective, and it also it mashes stuff for you. It's like, why do you have movie mm -hmm. reviews? We still have that. Why not have media cri criticism? Like, yeah, I mean, I think it's really sad. It's too bad that it's disappeared. What did you think of yourself in the video? <laughs> Looking so pretty corny. good. <laughs> in any case, I want to play a couple of clips from early on, then a little bit later, and get your reaction. Here's the first one. Why does the news business, unlike any other business, uh, Dow Chemical or anybody, why do we have to apologize for having investors and, and having to report some profit to them? The difference <laughs> is, Brian, that while journalism is a business enterprise, it's also an ethical enterprise. It's important to our democracy. If, if there is anything to people who know what they're thinking and talking about, voting for the right person, news makes a lot of difference. How'd you get him? <laughs> who are those guys? That was my brother, Brian Rooney, who I was a well. reporter for ABC News, and then John Carroll and Callie were on the set, and my dad, Andy Rooney. I mean, I, I can't even believe I put them on the show. What was, was it like, like having your? I mean, everybody knows Andy. What was it like having your father on the show? <laughs> oh, it was fun. I, although I used to get nervous. I would because he you would. he would dismiss me or move on or say that's a dumb question <laughs> or you know. That on was, the air, he'd say no, that. Oh yeah, that was when I would do one on one with him every Thanksgiving Eve. I used to have him on. That's great. That was the only time I ever had him on the show. Well, let's fast forward another, I don't know, 15, 16 years from that moment. Another fine moment. This one actually went national for Emily Rooney and Beat the Press. Here it is. Last week tonight with John Oliver has languished in relative obscurity since its debut in April. But this week, an Oliver diatribe about net neutrality went viral. Hey, f you, lady. I didn't languish in relative obscurity. I thrived in relative obscurity. Relative obscurity is my middle name. How much did you Jim, love that? you were so jealous that he called <laughs> that, me out. On my it just, honor. It was. You were so, do you not I, love that? Yeah, I do. I love it. It's great. I forgot about that. Yeah. So is there, is this, is the, I watched in the early days, long before I actually yeah. even knew you. Is the format sort of what the format was? I mean, no, the chairs, you know, this is and that are different, but it's essentially the well, same Well, the structure. format is, I mean, the, the setup pieces have gotten so much easier to do. I mean, digital, you know, we, 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 we rip everything off, but we used to have to record. We had like 80 record machines mm -hmm. going. 
doing. Now everything just gets backed up on servers and we take what we want, so that's made it easier. We added that uh, rants and raves segment, uh, that was probably already six, seven years ago, so the little things have changed. I, I'm, I, in all seriousness, I'm really excited about tomorrow night. I don't know if you're excited or nervous. No, we're excited. So, oh, yeah, sure she is. So what, what are people going to see tomorrow night? So this is we, a live show. It's yeah, it's o'clock. divided into four segments. First is so the changing, the morphing media landscape. And then we do this one about crime and punishment. I mean, that was the year that Mike Barnacle lost mm-hmm. his job, 98, same year. So mm-hmm. we do all these. That was year number one. Yeah, yeah, all the things that happened to various reporters. We look at some of the things that the media has obsessed on over the years. And then I end it with something more upbeat, which is sort of the triumph, some of the triumphant coverage, for instance, the, the Globe's coverage of the Catholic Church. Yeah, how do you feel about these 20 years? I mean, how do you feel about, I mean, you're a pretty self-critical person, by the way, which is one of the reasons I like you. How do you, <laughs> I'm serious, how do you feel about what you've done here? I mean, I, I feel I feel good about it. I mean, it's, it, it is, it's sort of one of a kind, it, it, one of a kind, it's a niche. You don't see anything like this anywhere else. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm so grateful to the GBH, honestly, yeah, for good. giving it a chance because they, were, they wanted to do Greater Boston five nights a week, and I said, you know, could we try this? And they said, yeah, let's give it a try. Yeah, and by the way, I'll be in the audience tomorrow night. If you can go like <laughs> this at some time, congratulations. Thanks, it's Jim. a great show. Congratulations Thanks, for the 20 it. years. The great Emily Rooney. Tune in tomorrow night, a special 20th anniversary edition of Beat the Press. That's tomorrow at 7 right here on GBH2. And there's a Facebook Live thing to follow it, by the way. So stick around. Don't go anywhere.